The sizzle is strong here on this Friday. Thank you for tuning in to your Friday evening weathercast. You see temperatures 65 in Oscoda, 66 in Tawa City, 63 in Harrisville, 67 is dominating towards the north in Atlanta and Roger City, 66 in Mayo. You can think all those southerly winds blowing between 10 to 15 miles per hour mostly. 14 in Atlanta, 8 in Rogers City, 16 in Oscoda and Tawa City, 13 in Alpena. These strong southerly winds have really helped. We're trying to get close to that record high of 69 degrees. But as we look at the future cast, conditions are going to be taking a big change as we go into the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to be dealing with some rain by the time we get into tonight as we deal with a cold front that pushes through. A strong low pressure that's been, been tracking it from the Rockies all the way now into the Great Lakes. By the time we go into tomorrow as the rain continues, we will begin to slowly one, question when that changeover to snow will take place. It will take place sometime in the late afternoon into the early evening. We'll begin to see that snow, but also the winds are going to be a main issue. We're going to see winds up to 20 to 30 miles per hour. Gusts could be up to 40 miles per hour, so it is going to be a very messy day tomorrow. Visibility will be dropping throughout the day, so it's best recommended to stay indoors. By the time we go into your Sunday, we could be seeing a couple of lingering flurries, especially the more inland you go, but conditions will be improving throughout the day on your Sunday. By Monday, we should begin to see more sunshine, but temperatures are going to be noticeably colder than they were the first 18 days of this month. You're going to see November is going to end very differently than the way it started. 58 will be the temperature as we go into 7 o'clock. Temperatures will fall into those upper 30s by the time you wake up tomorrow with already rain coming in the forecast. By tomorrow afternoon, that rain snow mix will begin to take place. And by tomorrow night, it will eventually be fully snow as sunset occurs at 5.01 p.m. By Sunday, some lingering flurries are possible the more inland you go. By Monday, the sun finally breaks out, but temperatures are going to slowly try to rebound from the 30s into those 40s. Morning lows are going to be cold, hovering in those low 20s on Monday and Tuesday morning. And by the time we get to Thanksgiving, we're going to deal with some sunshine, but the day before on Wednesday, the busiest travel day of the year, we could be seeing again a rain-snow mix, which could cause some travel headaches.